What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video um, kind of came together from me thinking about the bumper not fitting right on my car, right? So I showed you guys in the video of me putting the bumper together where it was hitting those front headlamps. So I'll talk about it more here in a little bit, but my solution was to go ahead and purchase 2015 headlamps and get the adaptive harness and make those headlights work and they'll fit. Uh, so I've been told, so once again, it's all theory. Uh, but then I thought, you know what, maybe there's a more uh, inexpensive way to make this bumper work without having to invest in some new headlamps and then adaptive harness because those headlamps are very expensive, as you guys know. So that's what I'm going to go over today. What I did to make my headlamps uh, work on the Vicrez uh, Hellcat front bumper. Not sure if you have a OEM Hellcat front bumper, if this process might be the same or if you'll be able to get away with sticking with your stock headlights. So stock headlights, talking about that, my car is an 09 Challenger SRT8. So I know the older Challenger headlamps are a lot bigger and that's where the problem kind of stemmed from. So I'm not sure about the differences between the Vicrest front bumper or like an Icon front bumper or an OEM Hellcat front bumper. So just keep that in mind. This is for my car, which is an 09 uh, Challenger SRT8 with the Vicrez Hellcat front bumper conversion. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and we'll see how everything turns out at the end. So I got the bumper off and you can see that it's just these one, two, then three. It's a eight mil ratchet wrench. And just go ahead and remove these. Once you remove it, just unplug it in back. All right, so on the forum, I read the other guy went back three-eighths of an inch, which is just right under a centimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it probably two clicks right under the centimeter with my Sharpie and uh, start grinding them down. You can always take away. You can't add unless you add some washers or something, so I'm not really too worried about it. All right, so there, I marked them with my Sharpie. And now it's just time to cut, so let's get to it. So that's that's pretty much it. It's plastic, you just cut right through it. And um, I put one of the screws back in just to make sure the threads are all right. And the back of the screw sat flush with this, which it did. So now I just need to trim this one a hair and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got all the, all the mounts cut. Now I actually gotta wait for the bumper because it's getting painted along with the uh, fender flare kit. So I just want to go jump ahead, save myself some time when I do get the bumper in. You know, I still gotta trim more. I mean, that's all right. I'll trim that up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is got my headlamp here. All right. So you can see on the headlamp right here where the bumper was hitting, and the same goes for the uh, passenger side. So hopefully that's you know the clearance we're trying to uh, make up some space for. Also, if you remember, I pointed out earlier in the video that the uh, bezels don't quite cover or hide this chrome very well. So the first thing I'm going to do is tape these off, clean every chrome part with a non-abrasive cleaner, maybe uh, some alcohol, wipe it down, and then apply some adhesion promoter, and then we're going to just paint it black with uh, black plastic paint. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that. So I pretty much put the tape on and used a razor blade to uh, razor blade off the edges. So the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, clean it off with some alcohol and then get it prepped for the uh, plastic adhesion promoter. But real quick, I want to show you guys what I'm using. This is a Duplicolor plastic adhesion promoter and I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint. Um, it's pretty much just black paint, um, but it's for uh, plastics. So, yep. Let's get started.
as you guys saw, I got the uh, adhesion promoter on there, and I put a couple coats of this black paint on there. And uh, last thing I do is let it dry, and then I'll peel that tape off. So it's already looking pretty good. Now I use this little box so the wind wouldn't pick up any dirt or grass flying around, and uh, it gets stuck on the paint. So we're going to let it dry for up to 24 hours and then peel the paint. So the next time I'm going to do the other headlight. All right, so these are done. Just wanted to show you guys up close what the uh, final product looked like. Um, the film right here in the corner, I already pointed that out earlier. It's from where the bumper was hitting it. But I'm not really too worried about it. So I just gotta clean this lens up a little bit. Uh, real easy. It takes about maybe an hour to do both. So next is put them on the car and put the front bumper on and see how everything fits up to see if we can get it to clear. So I'm gonna uh, get started on that. Six and a half hours later. All right, so if you guys remember me mentioning to always, you know, test for your parts before you paint them so you don't end up like me, you know, putting parts down on old blankets to make sure they don't get scratched. Um, but I did trim the back of the headlamps. I showed you guys that. Um, so just you got, just got to keep test fitting and trimming. But they still hit the, the bumper still hits the headlamps. So what I ended up doing was trimming everything you see here. You can't really see this when you're looking at the car straight forward. So don't worry too much. But do take your time and continue to trim, um, you know, maybe centimeters at a time. You just got to keep putting it on a test fitting. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know, you can make it work. So that's what I've done. I've trimmed a bunch of excess plastic. And I'm about to put it on the car for the last time. And this should be it. So wish me luck. All right, so I got the bumper on and it fits so much better. Now it sits nice and flush on both sides. Um, you can kind of see right there. If it'll focus uh, the clearance that I was able to create. I still got to get the tape off these headlamps. And the same on this side, which this side was always worse for some reason. Uh, so now I just got to tie up a couple of, you know, odd and loose ends behind the bumper, put the lower grills in, get that front splitter mounted on permanently, and uh, then we'll get started on these uh, fender flares. All right, guys, so it's been like uh, maybe a week or two since I actually filmed that last part before this clip right here. Uh, just kind of catching up with a lot of stuff. I uh, went ahead and took the car to H window tint. I got the new stripes put on and I've actually got the wide body put on already, but I'm saving that for another video. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you guys the uh, final product of the uh, front bumper. So all I did was, uh, like I said, was I put in the lower grills. Um, I cut out the tabs uh, for my tow hook and my front splitter support rods. And I took all the tape off the headlamps. And other than that, I just put the bumper on, um, the uh, factory mounting points, the four locations for the bolts and put the fender liners on and everything. So I'm gonna show you what the final product looks on for the uh, front bumper and the next video will jump into the um wide body so here's the final product got the front bumper on there so where i left off in the last video i just had to put these uh lower grills in and i put my tow hook in and you can see the splitter support rods um the mounts are coming out of there and of course i put the uh, front splitter on there and got the stripes put on by uh, ish window tint Got the uh, headlamps. You can see that you don't see any chrome anymore sticking out of them. They look really good. And uh, the smoke the smoked tin on the headlamps looks uh, looks pretty good too. It makes it look real subdued. So I'm actually super happy, super pleased with the way uh, all of this came out. Like I said, guys, in the next video, we'll talk about the fender flares and glue versus the uh, double-sided tape. All right, guys, so there you have it, and that's it for today's video. So if you like these videos, work on the Challenger, you know, leave a comment below, let me know. If you got any questions, I've reached out to a ton of you guys, you know, you can DM me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, if you like these videos, you know, hit that like button, leave a comment below, uh, hit that subscribe button, and do me a favor, hit that little bell so you guys know when I post new videos. So until next time, guys, peace out.